Am I the asshole? For telling my best friend he is lonely because his hygiene is disgusting? My best friend of 12 years is a great person with many desirable traits. He is educated and has a good career and I'm really proud of him for his accomplishments. Since we were kids I've always noticed he had really bad hygiene habits, but chalked it up to him being a teenage boy. Now that we're older I've seen that his hygiene has not improved with age. He goes to the gym at least three times per week but never showers more than once per week, never brushes his teeth, and only does laundry when the clothes are completely stiff. I've dropped little hints like if we stay the night somewhere together I'll ask if he packed shower supplies, and in the mornings I'll offer to leave my toothpaste out if he wants to use it. I've found myself no longer inviting him places because it's embarrassing when he shows up greasy, smelly and with an inch thick of plaque on his teeth. Last month he told me he had a crush on one of my newer friends and asked if she was single. I told him that she was, but only recently single and isn't looking for anything right now. He wouldn't take no for an answer and decided to contact her himself to ask her out. When she declined, she lied and said she was seeing someone. He knew that one of us was lying to him. When he confronted me I told him that everyone I know thinks he is disgusting because of his hygiene, they don't want to be near him much less date him. He denied having bad hygiene and said he does shower and brush his teeth. He left, and hasn't talked to me in over a month insisting I need to apologize and set the record straight to everyone we know. I think I'm doing him a favor in the long run and he should appreciate my honesty because he is the one who confronted me about why I lied to him about my friend. Am I the asshole? Yeah. Not the asshole. You re trying to help him, and you re only telling him the truth. He needs to get a reality check and improve his hygiene. Otherwise he can t expect people to be willingly around him, even less to want to get intimate with him. Info Have you ever asked your friend whether he would date a woman with the same hygiene habits? Like would he be open to dating a woman who showers once a week and hardly ever brushes her teeth or is he one of those guys who doesn't take care of himself but thinks he deserves a hot chick girlfriend who always looks good? Totally not the asshole. Dude sounds like a yeast infection waiting to happen for any girl he gets intimate with, woman shrugging. Not the asshole. He showers once a week and doesn't brush his teeth. He should be grateful to anyone, who is willing to hang out with him. Look, I happen to be a 26 yo boy myself, and by coincidence I also happen to be best friends with a girl yes, redditors, opposite sex best friends exist. While I don't have the same horrible hygiene he has, I do have my flaws and I wouldn't stop talking to my best friend for simply pointing them out to me. Also, he seems to think that you badmouthed him to your friends or something? Why would he demand you set the record straight? Not the asshole. He needs a reality check. Absolutely not the asshole. He's already an offer not taking no for an answer. But if he's that lazy and slovenly about his hygiene and appearance, then you were just stating the truth. Not the asshole I was this person at that age. I wish my best friend had had the courage to tell me those straight truths. I think you are not the asshole. He asked and you answered. You even tried it other ways, but he didn't get it. I would rather have my friend tell me, than everyone speaking behind my back. Even if it hurt at first, if he tries to change, it will help him. Not only with women, I think with friends and colleagues too. Not the asshole but if you were best friends why didn't you talk to him about his hygiene like 10 years ago? Teen boys may be biohazard but that only stops because someone points it out. Added I just realized that I should also ask this and I don't mean to kink shame but he had girlfriends up until this point. Not the asshole words probably could have been more carefully selected but I mean he asked and I don't think you were fully prepared to speak on it. It was a private conversation not around others so yeah. Not the asshole I am so happy you told him, I've had a crush on a boy who had similar hygiene habits and nothing brings you back to reality sooner than the fact that you have to shower twice to get the odor of his place clothes off of you. Stand your ground but with kindness. Personal hygiene can be a sore spot. If you ever acquire the nickname Stinky it follows you for life. Not the asshole. He needs to go to the dentist, use an electric toothbrush and anti-tartar toothpaste, floss twice daily, use a mouthwash, shower frequently and wash his clothes weekly. Not the asshole. I had a similar situation when I had my first job. I had similar hygiene to your friend. But I was 17 at the time and it took my boss calling me into his office and basically telling me hey you stink. Do you need me to buy you soap and new work clothes? I was mortified, but it was necessary. OP he's just upset because he's embarrassed as he should be. You did the right thing. I can't believe you've not told them before, you're some friend. There used to be a guy like that in my friend group, 
After much ribbing us all buying him socks, deodorant, we even booked him into a dentist. And now his hygiene is fine. Not the asshole for telling him straight. Not the asshole the truth hurts sometimes, I am sorry the friendship has suffered because of it but he needed to know how gross he is. You could try like posted above reaching out with I am sorry I hurt your feelings but, you still stink. I'd be concerned for his mental health. My uncle went six years after his wife died and never brushed his teeth once and rarely showered. He jokes how about his stinky phase. But there's no way to set the record straight when he's going to show up with the same bad hygiene. Arg this is the guy at the gym who takes off his sweaty workout clothes, puts them in his gym bag and then takes them out to wear them the next time he is at the gym I hate these guys it goes without saying that you can't work out next to them. But worse, you have to wait 10 minutes before odor clears to use the machine they just used. Not the asshole guys have a wicked habit of assuming that since no one complains, there's no problem, and guys don't take ins. A little shame now will save him a lifetime of frustration with women not to mention the drag on his health. Not sure how you remain best friends for that long tbh. Not the asshole. This is so hard and this is why kids need to be taught by parents about hygiene at a young age. It hurts when you're young. But it's so much better than being an unhygienic adult because I am sure this isn't just impacting his dating life, but probably his professional life too. A good friend of my husband and I has terrible hygiene and he doesn't get the hints either. He is chronically single, but has impossible standards for women wants a girlfriend like a model when he can't even take care of his hygiene or wear clothes that fit right. I will never understand. I threw up in my mouth just reading this. So, thanks for that. Not the asshole. Was he raised by humans? Not the asshole. How are you supposed to set the record straight if the truth speaks for itself? It's not like you're walking around, telling people that he has bad hygiene. He's displaying this fact with his very presence around people hard to miss bo and tooth butter, rolling eyes face. Friends need to be brutally honest sometimes. I don't think you're the a-hole. There can be reasons for poor hygiene such as being autistic, as sensory issues and other traits can make showering and brushing teeth difficult. You need to have a frank conversation about why they aren't looking after their hygiene. Not the asshole you tried to be subtle about this but that didn't work. Eventually he gave you no choice and you answered his question. This is probably mean, but when I read these threads I immediately end up imagining what the people involved must look be like. After being on Reddit so long I've started just assuming that everyone in these stories is sort of trashy ugly. Sounds like your delivery was all worthy. A kind, you know I think the world of you, so this is going to be very uncomfortable. May have been more productive to help your friend recognize his social skills need attention. Not the asshole that's a hard truth to hear and he's embarrassed. I would be careful with an apology because you don't want to backtrack on what you said, it was the truth. Perhaps offer to help him learn some better grooming habits. It's not really the same but my mom wasn't into a lot of girly stuff like makeup and hair so I had to learn a lot from friends and YouTube. Maybe he just needs to know where to find the info. Not the asshole, maybe you could have worded it a little nicer instead of calling him disgusting, but he needed to hear it. Not the asshole. First off, I'm impressed that you managed to stay friends with him for so long, given his hygiene. I know I wouldn't. What you described is simply gross. Secondly. There's nothing more you can do for him. Now it's up to him to accept reality and change himself. As for setting the record straight, you can't just tell people he does care for his hygiene when others can simply smell him. Not the asshole. He's in denial of his own downfall, he doesn't sound like you mentioned he was depressed so hygiene overall is just because he is either lazy or blind to the fact that he is disgusting. Having greasy hair, constant body odor. And plaque filled teeth doesn't scream attractive you were trying to help and instead of thinking and realizing maybe he does need to change habits, he denied them all as false. Not the asshole. I have seen this thing common in all the people with bad hygiene. They just don't want to accept it. Maybe because they are used to the smell and filthy surroundings. It's the same at my aunt's house. She is a nice lady and has helped our family in tough times but god I hate visiting her. Your friend is an asshole for not accepting the problem and a bigger asshole for not maintaining his hygiene. Not the asshole but a tough situation for a friend to be in. I would send me a nice apology for hurting his feelings, but say you're worried about him and also value his friendship. Not the asshole you've tried hinting and he didn't get it. I don't know how your conversation went down but I don't think you had any choice but to acknowledge his lack of hygiene directly. 
I'd expect him to have reacted defensively and he's probably embarrassed especially as getting knocked back by your friend but hopefully he'll take this on board for his sake. I bet he must know deep down. I need to apologize and set the record straight to everyone we know. If your friend's hygiene is as bad as you say it is, he's already set the record straight. He doesn't realize it, but you are doing him a favor by speaking up instead of avoiding him. Not the asshole. Not the asshole basic hygiene is needed. He's not even doing that. I have a friend who did the same thing. We had many fights over it. They didn't know they stunk so bad from not showering. People need to do basic hygiene or no one wants to be near you. Your friend needs to fix his problem. Do not apologize to him for giving him an answer that he asked you for. I mean, I'm on the fence with this one. He needs to know so in that sense not the asshole but you also didn't have to use such language as disgusting and could have spoke to your friend a little nicer so in that way you're the asshole. Not the asshole. Hygiene is a must in any situation work, friendships or otherwise. I definitely distance myself from a person who isn't hygienic. Why did you wait so long before telling him? You definitely are doing him a favor in the long run. I guess the truth hurts. On the plus side, if he doesn't come back around, at least you don't have to deal with being around someone who's gross. He left, and hasn't talked to me in over a month insisting I need to apologize and set the record straight to everyone we know. Not the asshole. You are a good friend, trying to help him. So, what? Does he think that his reputation for awful hygiene is based on you telling this to people? Does he not realize that this stuff is obvious to anyone who sees him? Not the asshole. If anything, you're an offer waiting this long to tell him. He can claim he takes care of his hygiene all he wants, but it really doesn't matter how much he showers or brushes his teeth. What matters is whether or not he smells and looks clean. A shower a week is not enough. I feel gross after a day of not showering and that's without working out.